very strange, but there's a, a ring of that. It possibly, it could be just dirt uh, and, and oil, but it could be that <laughs> stuff they put inside, the felt foam stuff. But it seems to be up around the rim of the uh, bearing housing thing. It's weird. I've never seen that before. That's a weird one. All right. Let's clean that off of there. Backside, still a little dusty in there, so I'm going to dust them off. I'm going to use the brush instead of the other thing. I'm going to go crazy, real gentle like. There you go. Uh, that's, that's really all we're going to do for now. I'm going to use cleaner on the the housing. I'm going to leave this as it is. It's not so bad. So uh, we'll leave that. And uh, cool. We'll be back. All right, this is always a little challenging to get everything lined up right back where it needs to be. Um, I sometimes don't do this correctly. Um, where does it want to be? The trick is to not touch the windings, to be very super duper careful. Um, and then we need it to All right, now I think I have it lined up right. You've got to get the holes in the stator lined up with the holes in the housing. And if you do it the wrong way and there's not enough play in the cable, it won't go back into the case. So you've got to make sure you get that right. And I think that I'm there. So I'm putting it on the outside to get it in that felt, and then I'm putting oil on the inside. I don't mind wasting a little to make sure that it's oiled. You don't want to over oil. Gravity is what it is. If you put too much oil and it goes above the water line here, it's going to drip out into your fan. Some people say you can't put enough oil. That's not true. I've had bad experiences with putting a little too much oil. That might have been a little too much oil. Only time will tell. We'll let that soak into the felts. And then we'll come back. All right, I'm going to try and stay out of the way of the camera. That's not the easiest thing to do. Here's our rotor, and we've got the washers that go on. We're going to throw them on, we're going to oil it, and then we're going to drop the uh, rotor into the rear housing, which is ready for it. So, um, plastic, felt, and then the little metally type washer. Hopefully these go on nice and easy. So there's those. And i got to remember to keep them falling off. I've made that mistake before as well. On. Felt deal. And then this one gave me a little trouble last time with the front. I'm sorry, I don't know what you can see. Alright, everything's on. We'll oil it up. I tend to put too much and then it drips. So I'm trying today not to do that. Should there be oil on the felts and the washers too? Sometimes I do that. Today I'm not going to. Okay. All right. So now it's ready to dump on in very carefully now. And there we go, it's in. All right, so next is the front housing, yeah.
checking to see if my holes are still aligned, which they seem to be. Um, this is the top. And there's our top. Okay. Top. And down it goes, and it's seems like it's pretty lined up. Let's uh, let's go ahead and see if we can get the bolts to go through. All right, we're back apart. It's not really going together quite the way I need it to. I'm not quite lined up, so we got to try again. This is what you have to do. This is what I have to do because I didn't do it right. So we'll try again. pretty tight now it feels pretty good I like that so that's as really as tight as it's gonna get um, so I like that just like that so now we got a little cleaning to do before we go and put it all back together um, just because I want to clean out the case a little bit. I haven't done that yet. So there you go. The motor's back together. Should run nice. Hopefully that's cool. If it doesn't, we'll, we'll go back and we'll try it again. You know, you can just pull it back apart and make sure you got it lined up. But it feels, feels pretty good. So uh, we'll see what's next.